it was interesting. One time I had this old timer who, who came up on the farm. We were out in the fields working and everything. And he, 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 he was fully aware of the farm and knew the history of it and, and, and could see all the things I was doing. And, um, you know, he came, up, he came up and he's like, hey, why are you doing all this? And I was like, well, it's just what I'm meant to do now. Um, and that was very true back then. In looking at this next phase of my life and looking at the farm, um, you know, I, I started realizing that basically, you know, we tend to like own things or have this perception that we own something. And it, it sort of dawned on me that that's really not true, especially with land and things like this. I mean, you, you really don't own it. You're just the steward of it for that time. And it's, you know, you can either take on the responsibility to, to create something and hand it off to somebody else and they carry that forward for you. And that's sort of what I did. And, and in thinking about that stewardship and who would be, you know, a, the, the next entity to take that on, again, it just sort of landed in my lap. Um, Tina mentioned how she met um, Jai Dave and, and the Satnam Foundation I was very familiar with. But, um, you know, thinking about actually donating it to them and the resources and the people that they could bring to it, um, you know, that actually really excites me. So I, I see that as just a, a very natural transition of from where it is now to, to where it can be in the future.